I started swimming with Summer League when I was five and then year round a couple years after that. Pretty small and rural place. Um, swimming isn't huge there, I guess. There's a, not an indoor pool in the whole county. That's what it was like growing up there. I came to swim camp here a few times when I was, I think, uh, 10 and 11 or 11 and 12, and I loved the program then and loved the coaches. Mark and Doak were both swim camp coaches when I came there, so I got to know them through that, and then since then I had always wanted to come and swim here and be a part of this awesome program. When I was being recruited, I wasn't nearly as fast as uh, other recruits, but Mark, having known me through camp, gave me the chance to, to be on the team, and that had been my dream and goal, so I was really thankful for that. When I came, I wasn't nearly as fast as the other recruits, and I, I knew that for the significant first part of my time here that I probably wouldn't be able to swim in all the meets or be a contributor to the team point-wise. I really looked up to all the upperclassmen in different ways, um, but in the, in the pool, Scott, Robson and Matt McLean were here for two of my years and then McLean is here again training and seeing what he does every day is just uh, totally inspiring. Nick Montez de Oka. He's a senior walk-on who has w did nothing other than work and work harder and work harder yet again through his first couple of years. He hasn't enjoyed success at the highest level until now. This could be one of those breakthrough moments in an athletic career, and that's his first college win ever. And it was in a, a huge race against some tremendous swimmers. He was, he was spectacular in the breaststroke. I'm so proud of him and proud of what he did and how hard he's worked to become now a really, really strong Division I swimming athlete from, from a first year walk on. And he's done it with hard work, he's done it with positive attitude. Um, and now he carries the confidence of a winner, which is great. It's always the last last race of the dual meet, which is uh, really cool because everyone who's in it it's, has already swam two or three events that meet, and it's a really great opportunity to go out and show how much heart you have at the end of a tiring meet like that. Last event of the meet, last event of Carolina, last chance ever to race Carolina in dual meet. Um, it gave me a lot of excitement and uh, a little bit of nerves, but I really just wanted to take advantage of that last opportunity. Out of uh, anything that I've ever experienced, the team here, being around the swimmers and the coaches, has shaped me as much as, or more than anything. It's teaching me to be persistent and be able to maintain constant determination and motivation because no matter how long it takes or how much you have to go through, the end result is always gonna be worth it. Thank you.